Hey everybody, Dixon back. You know, about, what, 600 years ago, white supremacy wasn't really a thing. Um, 600 years ago, it was just, there were human beings in the world. There were just people. Some from Africa, some from Europe, some from Asia. They're just people. And then, the Europeans began to um, go exploring. They, 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 their ships were able to go all over the world, and so they got greedy as fuck, and they had the musket, and uh, 1455, the Roman Catholic Church made a law, and they they split, uh, they gave Portugal the right to the west coast of Africa, and they gave them the right to enslave Africans, to plunder them, to rape them, to rob them, and steal from anything they wanted from them. The Roman Catholic Church started the whole goddamn thing. And then, uh, of course, they gave Spain the right to go out into the New World, conquer, steal, gold, land, whatever they want to do, rape, murder. And that's exactly what they did. And that's exactly... And it started, you know, over 500 years ago. Today's 2020, and this is 1455. And the first um, ship, uh, 1526, the first uh, slave ship from Portugal landed in Brazil. And um, the whole goddamn thing began. And uh, that's how we got where we are. And so why did white supremacy start? To justify the greed. Portugal and all these European, France, England, the Netherlands, the Dutch, all these people, the Europeans, decided to proclaim that white people were superior and therefore had the right to imperialize, to colonize, to steal and enslave and rape and murder. And all these things were justified in the name of white superiority and that we can have dominance over all black and brown people by nature. And that was the myth and the lie that was started to justify the European greed and evil. And that shit's been running for 500 fucking years. And here we are now, 2020. And white people are still a bunch of fucking white supremacists. Not a goddamn thing has changed. The only thing that's changed is the technology. You can see racism now. I saw a video of um, 25 year old uh, Ahmad Aubrey being hunted down, tracked and lynched by three uh, racists. That was a mob, that was a lynching. And that's a felony lynching, which is against the law. Now it's against the law. It didn't used to be, but civil rights laws passed. There's something called felony lynching. It's a hate crime. And uh, anyhow, he was murdered. Uh, by the way, Maude Aubrey was a hell of a warrior. He fought for his life and he lost that day. But uh, his mom said, I hope his killers get the death penalty. And you know, I don't believe in the death penalty because our justice system so fucked up. But in this case, let those motherfuckers fry. Because without accountability, without white accountability, without racist accountability, this shit will repeat itself. So there has to be accountability applied to all racists. And I mean all forms, the covert, the overt, the passive. But you know, the thing, whites are, and I've said this many times before, but here we are. And, and that's the whole thing about white supremacy is it all comes down to greed. It's economics and privilege and dominance. That's what white people, that's what this nation, America, was built on. Was that this country was built exclusively for white people. And that's a fact. That always was. They don't say that. They didn't openly state it, but obviously it's true. And that's how white privilege works. A white person today in 2020 can go jogging down the fucking street, can walk into a house in construction and not be hunted down and fucking lynched in the fucking street. That shit doesn't fucking happen. A 12-year-old boy, Tamir Rice, playing with a little toy gun, if that had been a white kid, the cop would have said, hey, buddy, what are you doing? Instead of race into a fucking park, jump out of the car and execute a young child. Emmett Till, going back 40, 50, 60 years ago, all he did was walk into a fucking store and the white lady lied and said he's harassing me. Lynched. This is how white supremacy works. And the other way white supremacy works and what we're indoctrinated to do from, from birth, all of us, no matter who you are, 
If you are white, you are taught this shit and you're taught it either directly or indirectly, consciously or unconsciously, you're taught it. And you're taught it by all kinds of different ways, all kinds of different messages, but it's taught. And there's all kinds of proof that it's taught. But we're taught to not give a fuck about our brothers and sisters that are black and brown. To not give a fuck about anybody outside of white. That's why that screaming silence you hear or that you don't hear from white folks when there's lynchings and when there's huge, crazy injustices happening. In 2015, black people were five times more likely, unarmed black people were five times more likely to die from being killed by the police than white people. Today, I think it's 2.5. That's crazy. They're being lynched. They're being, if they're not being lynched by the police, they're being lynched by right white Trump loving Christian white motherfuckers. And by the way, it's always been Christians, white Christians that's behind this shit. The Roman Catholic Church started the whole goddamn thing. Look it up, folks. They started the whole fucking thing. The indigenous genocide, the black Holocaust, the Atlantic slave trade, the transatlantic slave trade. It was a Roman Catholic Church supporting all that shit. And if you look at today, look at the, look at the, um, the, the, the people who killed Ahmaud Arbery, Christians, white Christians, they're racist. White Christians are largely racist and fucking hypocrites. White Jesus has been used to kill millions of people, indigenous people, and it's still going on today. And I'm not against Christianity. I'm against the way Christianity has been used. And I'm against white Jesus. White Jesus is a fucking lie. Even the Bible says Jesus wasn't fucking white. It's all fucking lie. So all you white Christians out there that are racist, fuck you, you fucking low down fucking hypocrite. Check yourself, check your fucking racism. And all the other white people in the world that remain silent, you're complicit, you're guilty. The only reason racial injustice and white supremacy thrives is because of the collective silence of fucking white people. White people just like me, that look like me, that won't say a goddamn thing when horrible fucking things are happening to our brothers and sisters. Racial disparities in every fucking institution in our fucking nation, and not a goddamn one of you give a fuck. Not one of you. If you do give a fuck, Send in the fucking comment if you're white. But the majority of you, you know you don't give a fuck. You know it to be true. I don't know, is it 95%? Is it 90? Is it 99%? I don't know. But it's a lot of you. You don't give a fuck. And it's that fucking silence that is consent. That is why innocent people are being fucking killed in the street. Check yourself, white America. Once again... Check yourself. Check your fucking silence. Being not racist is not enough. You have to be anti-racist. Because if you're not, then your silence is getting innocent people killed. Yeah, you want your privilege. Yeah, you're worried about karma because of all the nasty shit we've done to black people. You know what we've done to black people, white America. You know goddamn well what we've done. And that's what you're fucking scared of. We've all been indoctrinated and taught as white people. White nationalism. Don't care about black people. Protect your own interests. When I was a little boy, I was told to lock the fucking doors every time we went through the goddamn black neighborhood. All that shit was taught to us. Everybody. What we have done to black people is dirty. And it's still happening. And you still don't care. So once again, white people. Check yourself morally. Grow some moral courage racially. Start doing what's right. Don't remain silent. Speak up about it. You know, make phone calls. Support people like Sean King, who's who's making a movement, who's getting justice for people like Ahmaud Aubrey. Him and his amazing crew and his team, support him. Help him. Do something to support justice for, for the things that are wrong. 
Things are not fair in America, and they never have been. We are a largely racist nation. Stop the fucking silence. Stop the fucking denial. Stop the fucking projection. Nobody lives under black supremacy. May God help white America.